In this video we are going to be replacing the stock HK41622 springs with the HK parts 41622 springs. The first thing that you want to do is take out the magazine, set it aside, and make sure that your firearm is unloaded. After you do that, you want to flip it over. You want to give this little knob here on the bottom of the handle a counterclockwise turn until it stops. This will allow you to get underneath it and pull the cap off so that you can get to the four millimeter screw in the bottom of the handle. You need to remove this screw to take out the fire control group. Once you have it done, set the handle aside. The next step is to remove the two push pins that hold the lower and the upper together. Set the pins aside and separate the upper and the lower. Take the upper and then set it aside. The next step is to remove the safety lever. To do this, you push from right to left and pull it out once you've unseated it a little bit. After that, you want to remove the magazine release assembly. You want to undo this bolt that holds the button on. Which will allow this to come out. And that pin goes all the way through the part of the assembly right there. Pull straight out. Set the lower aside now. At this point in time, if your hammer is still cocked back, you want to release that slowly. Then you want to pull out the four 2.5 millimeter bolts. Once you have loosened these, the nuts that are holding them in place should fall free. If they don't, they could be held in place by the grease that is normally found on these assemblies. At this point, with all of the nuts and bolts off, you can see that the assembly is starting to come apart. And that is because of the safety lever housing here that is, has a spring detent that is wanting to push up. Take that out and set it aside. The one thing that you will want to do now is to place one hand over the spring keeper here while gently prying up. If you do not do that, you run the risk of shooting the keeper across the room and losing it. The other two springs that we will be replacing are going to be the sear spring here and the trigger return spring right there. The next thing that we are going to want to do is to remove the sear spring here. First you can take out the nut that's in the bottom and set that aside. I pry up on the sear spring like so until it comes loose. At that point you can pull it out and put it aside. The next spring to pull out is going to be the trigger return spring here. There is a hole that it slides into on the trigger and then of course it rests on the face of the assembly. You can simply tilt the trigger up and pull this spring out. 
Now take your HK parts replacement springs and put them in. For the trigger return spring, we do the basic reverse of how we took it apart. The next spring will be the sear spring. You want to take it and place it in the hole in the face of the sear. While you are doing this step, you want to make sure to keep pressure down on the trigger so that it does not come out of the assembly. Get it resting like so, and then push it into the face. At this point, I like to make sure that the springs are seated right by giving a little push to make sure that they are at the bottom at rest. At this point, you're going to want to put the hammer spring on. You're going to want to apply a little bit of pressure to make sure that the trigger assembly does not fall out. Take the retainer and put it on. Remember, this is under pressure, so it will be slightly hard to do. Once it is on, that is what it should look like. From here, you want to make sure that you replace this nut and you want to grab your safety catch. Put it into place like so. From there, take the top portion of the assembly plate and put it back on. If it is like this and hard to put together, it is mainly because your trigger assembly is a little off canter. Give it a little bit of a tilt and it should fit flush. From here, put the four bolts back in. Before tightening this top one, you want to put your buffer back on. Push it into place and then tighten. Your assembly should now be put back together with no missing parts. From here, you want to bring your lower and place it back inside. You want to take your trigger assembly and place it back inside. The next step is to assemble your magazine release. The next step is to put the safety lever back in. Once this is done, it is now time to put the top and bottom receivers together. HK 416s, you want to put your pins in from right to left, longer pin going in the front. At this point, you are going to want to put your handle back on. 
The screw on the end of the handle is going to be a four millimeter screw. It will be easiest if you put it on the end of your tool like so. Insert into the hole and then line it up on your receiver. Once that is in place, put your bottom cap on, twist into place, and you are done. All right guys, thanks for watching the HK416 match trigger spring installation video and guide. Uh, remember that this drop-in spring kit is going to help you with a lighter, refined trigger without sacrificing the reliability of your rifle. The cost of this, this kit is only $17.49, and you can find it at the link below. Um, thank, you for, thank you for your support. We hope to bring more HK-related items to you here in the future. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and, of course, our website at hkparts.net. Thank you, and happy shooting.